Now, the official Sun Coast weather with ABC7 meteorologist John Scalzi. So it'll be a breezy day today. Currently, things aren't too terribly bad. Southeast wind comes in at about six, but that southeasterly wind that'll switch around to the southwest today. And we have a rip current advisory. We have a lake wind advisory. We'll probably end up before too terribly long with a small craft advisory as well for our area waters, certainly by tomorrow as that front continues to sag southward through the deep south. 72, our dew point feels sticky out there, humid, sticky. You can almost feel like there are changes coming up in the weather as you head out the door this morning and an air temperature coming in warm at 76 degrees. So it's a stormy day in the deep south. Areas from Louisiana in through Georgia, parts of uh, the Carolinas seeing some fairly heavy downpours today. Traveling, well, the Atlanta airport may be a slow go. That's certainly a possibility. This low pressure area lifts off to the north and to the east. The frontal boundary stalls out and it'll be a focal point for showers for today and for tomorrow as well. Then the next cold front approaches. That cold front actually carves its way through the deep south, picks up from the energy left over of the stalled frontal boundary and drives a cold front through the state of Florida on Wednesday. Now that one will produce uh, our worst weather of the week. That'll come probably in the second half of the day on Wednesday into Wednesday evening and in the early hours of Thursday morning as we see a series of little impulses sink southward across the state. Now, the thing is that the situation is set up with some upper level wind energy and we've got some winds aloft that'll be roaring across the state of Florida at about 120 knots. That's aloft. And we could see the potential of some larger hail. We could see some damaging strong winds. We could also see an isolated tornado or two. Can't rule that out. That'll be tomorrow afternoon into the evening hours particularly and then into the early hours of Thursday morning before it all clears out. So today we become windy. We'll have mostly isolated inland storms, kind of like we had yesterday, and then it will turn stormy tomorrow. The biggest change you'll notice today is that it'll be a little bit breezy. This is the Sphere Storm Prediction Center for Wednesday into Thursday, and again, they're giving our area for the second day in a row about a 15% chance of seeing some strong to severe weather including the gusty winds that could do some damage, thunderstorm winds, severe thunderstorms, or the potential of some isolated pockets of tornadic activity. That extends all the way up to close to Atlanta, so we'll watch for that tomorrow. Look at the timing of the storm on the RPM computer model. We get some isolated showers in inland areas today. Nothing severe today for our area. And then as we head into... Wednesday, we see the line of storm begin to develop, some of them producing some very strong radar echoes, closing in on us by around drive time, and then that first line exiting, and another kind of frontal zone, showery thunderstorm activity zone beginning to develop during the late night of Wednesday night into Thursday day. Then that goes past, and we're left with clearing skies and a lovely rest of the week. A little bit of cloud cover around today could help to hold temperatures down as well. But the onshore wind flow will do most of the job, keeping us into the upper 80s. And then tomorrow, that 80% chance of late day storms lingering into Thursday with a 50% chance clearing Thursday afternoon. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday all look to be pretty nice. Memorial Day itself looks to be just fine.